cornering good consistently, I think is one of the hardest things about mountain biking because things change, like terrain changes, the amount of grip, how wet it is, all those things. But here's a few tips on how to improve your cornering. Step one, uh, first take a look at what you're doing. So if you can get a friend with a video camera, we've all got them on our phones, just take some uh, video of you riding and cornering and put it in slow motion or even pause it and try and check out your technique. Right, so from the video, you now know what to improve and just try and practice that over and over and then video yourself again to make sure you're getting it right. Next step, I think it's a really important one, it's repetition. And I've seen this with quite a few pros actually, but they've literally got cones out on the street in front of their house or on a fire road and they're just carving slalom side to side. And it's such a simple thing to do, but it's actually really hard, especially to go left to right, like you know, just one way to the other. I think it's much easier to get one way better than the other. So to improve one of them to get them both up to equal level and then improve both of them of course i think is the key to repetition all right hopefully you're feeling loose by now after all that slalom and your hips are loose you're ready to roll i reckon the next thing to do is try and push your limit something like that i mean try and push your lean angle over as much as you can until the bike starts to lose traction I think this is like a really good, uh, fun way of improving your confidence when it comes to learning how to corner properly, but how much grip you've got if your bike sort of balances right front to back. And obviously I find somewhere super soft. So if I do fall off, it's gonna be all right, I would think. It's, you know, I can sort of roll around in this, I'm not gonna get hurt. And what I'm doing is trying to come in with a reasonable amount of speed and then just lean the bike over further and further and further. So like I generally say with like my corner and how to's, check those out if you haven't done already. Sort of keeping my body weight fairly upright to the outside of the bike and then angling the bike over. And I'm trying to sort of get brave and push and push and push, elbow up on the outside, hips to the outside, until I can just feel it start to drift. And the good thing about angling it over is then if I do feel it, I can sort of pick the bike up and it should save it if I've sort of done it too much, the bike starts to really slide out. Also, um, I've got my clips on today, but I'm definitely unclipping. I'm actually dragging my foot quite a lot because that is the thing that's going to save me. Uh, so I say find somewhere soft, somewhere safe, and then learning how to push the bike a bit too far, you'll then start to drift. And that is brilliant for knowing, like I said, bike setup, but also feeling confident both ways. Again, I've just done left pretty much, but both ways, get a good feeling for how to drift. I think the final piece of the puzzle for improving your cornering and mine is trying to find the best grip from the conditions you're riding in. And I think this is the hardest thing. Like I said before, like conditions are always changing. Dirt's different. You know, this is the, the sort of reason why I've crashed most, I guess, on a mountain bike is sort of misjudging the amount of grip I've got and crashing on a corner. Uh, something I used to do when I raced downhill actually, before, because sometimes you sit around for hours for your downhill race run, what you'd often see people doing, I would do, is kind of carving around at the top of the track, so on a fire road or whatever, just getting a feel for conditions, if it's dry, if it's wet, just so you've got an idea. Do a skid, you'll have a, you know, let off your brake afterwards, have a feel for how quickly that rear tire grips again. It's gonna give you a good estimate of how much grip there is, but every corner's different. So this is all about experimenting, getting experience, trying to push the limits, but also trying to find that limit of grip for every corner. All right, hopefully something in this video, at least one thing that you can look at and think, oh, that's the thing I need to improve. And for me, I've just uh, been sessioning these corners over and over, and it's so much fun trying to get down like as smooth and as fast as I can, but like one in 10 times do I get it right. So obviously I'm not doing it enough. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if there's something that you're struggling with, the corner wise, and I'll try and jump in the comments for a little while and help you out if I can. Thumbs up if you love cornering and sliding your bike around.